a common question I get faced with uh, pretty much on a weekly basis several times a week is, should I buy a long-term care policy? And for those who have a long-term policy, long-term care policy, should I keep my policy? Well, not long ago, it was pretty easy to get a long-term care policy, basically 10 to 15 years ago when it was reasonably priced. However, with the advancement of medicine and technology, people are living a lot longer. We have a longevity issue. And this is one thing that many insurance companies obviously did a bad job of planning for. So uh, combine that with many of them actually getting out of the long-term care business and you're faced with uh, high prices. Uh, let's face it, the insurance companies thought that most older people would be dead by now, uh, but, but they aren't. So now they're faced with the high prices. And what has happened is that prices are getting higher for new policies and those people who have existing policies, their increases and their percentage of increases are getting a lot larger than uh, than anybody anticipated. So we have an issue. Now, mind you, from experience, I will tell you that those that have a long-term care plan or long-term care coverage will have the greatest flexibility and quality of care when the time has come. However, the problem is now that it's getting expensive. So what do we do? So I hope that these next four questions will kind of help you kind of formulate some answers in reference to uh, having a long-term care policy and, and, and actually even keeping your long or keeping your long-term care policy. The first question that we should answer is, hey, what is your health? What is your health like? What is your family um, you know, history? And how much risk do you think we have going forward? Now, some of this is a guess, of course, but you know what? It, it kind of gets us kind of in the ballpark. Number two is, do we have the assets and income to self-insure? Because self-insuring a care can be a possibility. However, here's the issue. If self-insuring, let's say, is that going to impact one spouse if we take care of the other spouse? For instance, let's say one of the spouse has a health, uh, a long-term care need, and it's an extensive long-term care need. Let's say it lasts 10, 12, 15 years. Is caring for that spouse going to now leave the other spouse destitute? So again, it's a question that could, be, that should be answered. Um, how about the, the, how about the, the third question is, is there another way to cover long-term care? For instance, now with the, uh, because of the in issues we have with uh, current long-term care policies is there's other types of ways to cover for long-term care. Mind you, they are not going to be as great uh, or cover you for as much as a regular long-term care policy, but they actually can help you in a very valuable way. They can cover a portion or a great portion of it. Uh, the other thing to understand is, is there, is there anything else that we can use to cover you in reference to your long-term care, whether it be um, you know, equity in a home or equity in in, in, uh, in in real estate or so on and so forth that can work in covering you for long-term care needs. But fourth is one that I'm very sensitive to, and that is when we have single and widowed females. Um, you know, let's face it, when, it, when you are getting older uh, and you're single, it can become an issue on how you schedule and get care. Your friends are getting, you know, as old as you are. So obviously they can't be counted on, uh, especially if they're still alive, to uh, to help you out. And in other, uh, on the other hand, if you have kids, many times, especially of my clients, their kids don't even live in town. So again, it can become an issue where kids may be able to take care of you a little bit, but not enough or be able to spend enough time with you. So single females is one that I'm very sensitive to that, you know, we have to find a way to get this covered where if something happens to you with one phone call, everything's taken care of. So whenever there is a need of long-term care and you have questions reference to a new policy or to your now current policy, make sure to give us a call because this is a very crucial part of the holistic retirement plans that we put together. And I'll see you next time on Financial QB TV.